look at what happens when we combine what we know about using loops with our new conditional loops with our while statement. For starters, I'm going to need to look at all the things my beaver has going on. He's facing the wrong direction and he has 16 tiles. So first, I'm going to need him to turn left. And because I'm not always sure about the turning, I like to test it to be sure I have him going in the right direction before I continue. Then we're going to use our while loop. So while the condition exists that he's facing an empty tile, the beaver will place a tile and then move forward. So I know that that will fill my first row, or I expect it will, so I'm going to test it. Okay, here I can tell my beaver is going to need to turn left again and use the same while loop. So I could write this code like this. And this would complete the roof, but it would not earn me three stars because I am missing an opportunity to use another loop. These two sets of code are the same. So as we've learned before, we can nest loops and we're going to use our repeat until loop, our repeat two times loop with our other code. So I can get rid of this. So remember to use multiple loops when it makes sense.